Hello, my name is Rachel and I love clothes. And what I'm bringing you right now is another one of my Goth on a Budget hauls. This one's a small haul, there's only three pieces of clothing. But my Goth on a Budget hauls are where I go shopping and try to find Gothic and alternative clothing uh, where each individual piece is no more than $25. So if you're on a budget, you could slowly build a wardrobe piece by piece. And I was actually really lucky during the Killstar Halloween extra 20% off sale, the extra 20% off included off of their clearance. And I was actually able to find three clearance items that I wanted that were an extra large. Usually all that they have left are smalls and extra smalls by the time <laughs> it gets to clearance. So I was really excited to find these three items and each item was roughly $22 a piece after the extra discount. But once I added in shipping and tax, they came to like $25 and maybe 50 cent a piece, but I'm still counting this as goth on a budget. If I had spent another, I think $40, I could have gotten the free shipping <laughs> and then each piece would have been. <laughs> totally under $25. But before I get into showing you uh, my Killstar items, I just really quick want to show you a couple of things that I picked up at uh, Home Goods slash TJ Maxx the other day. <laughs> Look at him. If you saw my home tour video, you would have noticed on my bed I have a little stuffed fox and he's a basically a hot water bottle. He's microwavable. And uh, so is this one. I found this one's larger and fluffier and softer, so it'll be much more cuddlier, but he's also microwavable. He also has the microwave beads in him, and I'm so excited. And he was only like $13. Yep, $12.99. So I was really happy to find him. I know, not very gothic, but oh, he's so cute. <laughs> and then I also found this was a deal for only $8, a Urban Decay wired palette. And these are pressed pigments. And some of them are safe for eye and some of them are only safe for face and body. Uh, but you know, I'll probably use them all on my eyes anyway, because you know, that's what we do. <laughs> but it was amazing to find it not only for only $8, but also no one had actually touched it. <laughs> How awesome is that? So I was excited for that find too. But enough of that. I'm sure the reason you're here is for the Killstar stuff and I'm wasting your time with other fun things I found other places. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, let's get into this. First item, the fabric that I've actually bought several things from, from Killstar. It's the Roses and Bats fabric. Let's see if we can see that on there. But this is a cold shoulder bell sleeve tunic top. And like I said, it's, I got all three of them in the extra large and my measurements for reference, I will try them on at the end of the video so you can see what they look like on. And my measurements for reference are 40, 33, 43. And I'm a US size 12 and usually an extra large in most clothing brands. And this is the Leah Mort top. And this one says the same as everything else in this line. You'll be too much for some people. Those aren't your people. Next up is just this little velvet skater dress. This one has a high neckline with some lace there on it and it's short sleeves. And this is the Mortina dress. And it says the same thing as the last one. And my final item is actually a little sweater. It's a somewhat sheer crop sweater with big sleeves and a hood. So those were my three Killstar clearance items. And like I said, after the extra discount, they were all about $22 each piece. And let me go try these on for you. And I'm starting with the little velvet skater dress with a little bit of lace detailing down here on the front and I just think this is so cute you guys know how much I love my little black velvet dresses and the skirt does go right to the bottom of my fingertips and I am five foot three just for reference there so yeah I think this was definitely worth the $22 let me know what you think down in the comments below and let's try on the next piece so next I have the cold shoulder top in that 
that and rose print that I absolutely do love. Uh, it's a little bit shorter than I was hoping it would be. I was hoping, you know, with the extra large, because like I said, I'm only five foot three, that it would be just a little bit longer. I paired it with a pair of faux leather leggings that I did get off of Amazon. And I definitely need to wear a halter style bra with it as well. I had to shove my bra straps down into my sleeves and that is not comfortable. <laughs> but yeah, I, again, I think totally worth the $22 and I will definitely find different ways to style it. But again, let me know down in the comments below what you think and we have one more to try on. And the final item is this distressed black sweater. It's got like all the, the little rips and stuff in it. And I absolutely do love this little sweater. Uh, it is cropped and I am still wearing it with those faux leather stretch pants that I wore with the other top. But I definitely would not leave the house in like a crop top and leggings like this. I would probably put this crop top over like a spaghetti strap dress. That would be probably be much more my, my style, but just for the sake of trying it on. And I absolutely do love these sleeves and the hood. <laughs> so let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this piece. And I just want to thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this video, you can give me a thumbs down, but please leave me some constructive criticism in the comments below so that I can improve. And please subscribe to the channel. And I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we are living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye!